I'm Bernie from Crafters Companion. Today I'm going to show you this pattern pack from Threaders that includes five projects. In the pack you've got the pattern for a coin purse, which is this one here. You've got a travel wallet. You've got a wallet. You've got a clutch bag and you've got a purse as well. In this video I'm going to show you how to make this coin purse. So let's see how we make it. So we look in the pack first and in the pack you're going to get your instructions. So in the instructions, it has for all five in here. At the front, it tells you how much fabric you need for each one. And then it takes you step by step with the photographs of how exactly to do it. So if we turn to the coin purse, which is this one here. And the other thing that you get in here is you get a card slot positioning tool. And what this helps you do is get all of these slots perfectly in place for you to fit your cards in to the right size that they're not going to be too loose and fall out they're going to fit lovely and snug and you're also getting a lovely quality paper pattern and on here you're getting all the pieces for all of the projects on here and what you need to do is cut all of these pieces out you're going to lay them onto your fabric you have, normally you'd pin them on but my favourite product to use is our paper pattern spray. So this is a spray and position um, adhesive for fabric. And what you do is lightly spray the back of your paper, lay that onto the fabric, and then when you iron it, the heat activates the glue. So once you've got all your pieces cut out, you can then start assembling. And I like to keep my instructions out so I can follow it step by step with the photographs. But you'll obviously have this video to watch as well, where you can pause and rewind and check the instructions as well. So with this one, we've got the suede fabric on the outside here. So what we need to do is to make the um, card slots on the front. We're going to take the piece and we're going to follow the instructions. And in the instructions, it'll tell you at which point to lay the tool on. So it'll say to us on this one, it's in place the cards position your tool on the right side of the outer main panel, which is this, aligning the fourth line of the tool with the bottom edge. So on here, we numbered one to nine. I'm going to go to row four, pop that along the bottom edge of my piece, and then I'm going to get my heat erasable pen, and it tells me to draw in one, two, and three. So I'm going to draw those slots in there. So what you're going to do is take card slot piece and effectively you it tells you in the instructions which we'll do now is line it up with the first line so i've lined that up with the top line and you're going to stitch that a quarter of an inch all the way along so if i bring this one in we can see here that we've stitched this one a quarter of an inch and that one is lined up to that line there and then you're going to bring this down to the next line line that up to there and just give that a little bit of a finger press and then once you've got that there you're then going to take your second pocket piece and right side down again line that up with that second line so it's going to be on top of the one you did before and then stitch a quarter of an inch all the way down and then once you've stitched it you're then going to bring it down again and repeat the same as you did before and then you're going to take your third piece line that up with this third line on there stitch a quarter of an inch bring that down and the last time one this is that's going to line up with the bottom we've got those three we pop that on there's the two and then i'll show you that again line that up with that one go and down to the bottom and then we can see that we've got those three evenly placed pockets now the next thing to do is we don't want those to move at all so what you want to do is base stitch down the sides along the bottom and up this side and base stitch is a long stitch on your machine just very close to the edge you can see how we've done the stitching all there and that's now secure and in place okay so with the tab, again, you're going to get the pattern pieces that you've cut. You're going to have two rectangles that you're going to sew them together around two long sides and along the bottom. 
and then turn it the right way so it's outside like that. Give it a nice press. And this is my raw edge here. With a longer stitch, so about a three mil stitch, you're going to top stitch close to the edge all the way around just to give it that extra professional look and finish. I always like to do a little bit of top stitching where I can. I think it just finishes things off nicely. So we're going to stitch around there and then we need some sort of um, fastening. So on this one we've used the metal snap fastener. You could use the plastic snap fasteners as well. You could use hook and loop. You could use a button and a buttonhole. Um, totally your preference. But at this point you want to put the fastener on this side. So again, we're going to position that centrally on there. Use your markings on your mat if you need to find a central position or a ruler. Line a ruler up, you could um, do it that way. And then baste it close to the edge just so it holds it in place. And then the next thing we want to do is start adding the zip. So we've got our zip here. I've got this pink zip that I thought worked lovely with this fabric. And then what you're going to do is I always cut mine a little bit longer. You're going to put your zip right sides together with that outer piece. And then you're going to have your lining of your purse. So we've got the lining here the same as those outer pockets. And then you're going to sandwich your lining in between. And you're going to stitch on your machine and stitch that in place and then when it opens out you can see now you've got the zip encased in there so once you've done that and then put the other side on we're going to end up with it looking like this so here's that side the first side that we did first and then we've done the same with the other lining and the back of the coin purse so if we turn it off we can see We've got the suede on the back there, and then we've got that side on there. And then the next step is what you want to do is bring the outsides together like this. And also bring the lining together. And you're going to clip that to keep it in place. And we're going to stitch all the way around, but we're going to leave as big a gap as we can in the bottom for turning through. This is what it's going to look like. You're going to clip your corners like that. And then we're going to turn it through that gap. Now, just take your time because you've got a lot of um, bulk going through here. If you struggle, what I would do is fold this section over and feed it down. What you need to remember to do, I'll show you in here, is that you've opened your zip. So it's on the out, so inside out at the minute, so I'm just going to turn it back up through here. And this is where you're going to get a pokey tool to poke those corners out really neatly. You don't want to use scissors because scissors, you can have um, the sharp point and it can go through your corner and then you've got to turn it back through and restitch it or you may have put a hole in your fabric as well. So. It is worth just taking that little bit of time because we've got the outside tab on there. What I then like to do is put that down onto there and I'll get my heat erasable pen and I'll just raise it slightly and just so I know where to, and I'll put a mark where I know my other piece needs to be. And then because this is a pocket, you can easily get in there with your tool just to add your other piece of your snap fastener. You're actually ready to use your coin purse. So you can pop your coins in there. I'm going to put my card in there. Fasten that up. And because you've got that security tab on there, they're not going to fall out. So that is the Threaders pattern pack um, showing you how to do the coin purse.